Hey, what's up, guys? So our uh, microphone uh, wasn't plugged in, so I have to do a voiceover. Um, we're going to go through a shoulder workout. Here I'm hitting some rear delts. I like to start from the back of the shoulders, then go to the sides, and then finally work the front delt. Here we started with some rear delt cable raises um, uh, where it really targets the rear delt. You don't want to go too far back. Um, you want to take your time with the movement. If you go too heavy, your traps and upper back are definitely going to take over. So you really want to keep that focus and that tension on that rear delt and find a weight that you can control so you can really feel it in the back of your shoulder. Um, a lot of people start with uh, front you know, military presses because they want to you know, lift heavy, um, but your front delts are taxed so much during chest training. When it comes to shoulders, you should probably start from the rear and then work your way up front. So here we're doing um, a final set of, of uh, right around 20 reps or so of uh, rear delts. Um, with the cables, it's a very good way to warm up. It's a gentle way to warm up your shoulders. If you come in fresh and hit shoulders without hitting chest or anything before, this is a great uh, first exercise to kind of warm them up. Just remember to, to use really good form. Um, second exercise is the reverse pec deck. I love it. Um, you can brace your chest against that pad real hard, create tension. And one trick that I do is I'll do like five reps or even 10 reps, and then I'll hold for one rep. So I'll do like five regular reps where you're going out and in, you're controlling it. And then on that fifth rep or so, just hold for about five or 10 seconds. Um, you don't want to go back too far. Again, your traps and your, your uh, upper back will take over. You want to keep that tension where you're, you're, you're just going back far enough to, to keep that tension on the rear delts. And uh, this is pretty brutal. If you, if you really um, go with the cables real hard, give 100% effort on that, and then come here and really, really, you know, go hard here, this is absolutely, it'll, it'll put them on fire. Like, you'll, you'll actually feel like uh, your rear delts are burning and are going to fall off. So I try to do, you know, three or four rounds of this. Um, it doesn't take a lot, you know, 100 pounds, maybe 130 pounds. Um, you know, a lot of guys could probably do the stack. I could probably put the whole stack on there. But again, my back's going to take over, and those rear delts won't work. So you definitely want to keep a weight that's uh, where you can actually feel it. So now we can get into side delts. Um, here I just finished with a triple drop set. So I'll do like a warm up set, a second warm up set, um, then, then maybe one or two heavy sets, and then finish with like a little drop. Um, again, guys, I never do shoulder videos because, you know, I had those shoulder surgeries 10 years ago. Uh, I mentioned this in, in a couple of our other videos, so I can't really go heavy, so you won't see me uh, breaking any records or going real heavy on shoulder training. But uh, this, this does give you an idea, though, of how to structure a shoulder workout for sure. So here I think I cranked out like, what, uh, 11 or 12 reps or so with that first weight, I think with the... Uh, 27s or 30s or whatever, um, grab a, a lighter weight here, another 10 or so, and then a final 10. Um, on these, you want to drive up with your pinky. You don't want to bend um, at the elbow too much, and you don't want your elbow to, um, to lead too much either. You don't want your arms to dip down and cheat. You want to keep that arm slightly bent. Um, however, keep it straight out and lead with that pinky finger. Um, at the top of the rep, your hand should... Um, you know, be parallel with the ground, and that will ensure that, that the tension is on the side delt for sure. So that's so important. So and again, this is another exercise where people pick uh, heavy weights, and they use body English. They're going on their toes, and they're swinging back and forth. You definitely don't want to do that. You want to take your time, keep your feet planted, and just move your shoulders. The only thing that should be moving is your, your arms and shoulders in a very controlled fashion. So That'll target those, those side delts for sure and create that illusion. Um, you can't get enough side delt. I don't care, guy or girl, um, shoulders, they make your waist look smaller. They give you that V-taper. Um, it's just a, it's a really good uh, muscle to have. Okay, so here um, we have a couple different options. We have an arsenal side lateral. Then we have the life fitness side lateral. Both are great. You can also do cable side laterals too. Um, so here I just do one arm at a time. For me, I like to get into it a little bit and kind of step forward and then into the, uh, um, to the handle there and then just do one arm at a time. I feel like it's more stable than doing both arms at a time. I see a lot of pros though, they use this machine and they'll use uh, two arms at a time. So either way is fine. I just think that uh, just using one arm, I can kind of adjust my body to where I feel it a little bit more in that side delt and I can kind of brace myself. So either way is fine, like I said, but <coughs> I just like to do the, uh, the one arm at a time thing and it really works good. And it doesn't take a lot of weight here either. Um, if you go too far up, again, those traps are gonna take over up on top. 
Um, I know Nick Walker likes to go up pretty high, but other than that, everybody else usually keeps theirs, just either arm just straight out at the top of the movement. And here I just wanted to show you, um, again, that microphone didn't work, but I just want to show you the other machine. So I actually don't recommend doing a third side lateral movement. That'd be overtraining. I just wanted to show everybody that that's our other machine that we have um, so that either one's just fine or even the cable side laterals. So either way is good, but I do like to do two rear delt movements two side delt movements, and then uh, one maybe overhead military press movement. So um, so I wanted to show you this just real quick, just to kind of explain that for sure. So um, after this, you can finish with, we have a ton of military presses. We've got a, a barbell military press, dumbbell military press, plate loader military press, cable military press, and the hammer strength selectorized military press. So we have a ton of, uh, of presses. Um, notice that my hands, you don't want to start that far down that you just saw there. You want to start with your hands at ear level. Um, if you dip your hands down during a heavy press, any, anywhere below that, your tendons are going and your connective tissues are going to kind of take over. It's going to put a lot of stress on those labrums and the rotator cuffs. So make sure you're real careful to go from your eyes all the way up and not jerk. Again, you don't want to come down too fast either and then bounce off the bottom. You want to keep it controlled and kind of like control as you go. So I was just kind of showing you this stuff here. I have to be real careful on this movement too, so I don't get hurt. But, uh, and then here's just another example. I just wanted to pop over here again and show you that, see, I keep the seat pretty low to where I start at eye level and it just saves those, those, you know, shoulder, uh, connective tissues, uh, from getting hurt. So I'm just, I'm just playing it safe long-term, you know, it's about longevity. Um, it's one thing to do something for five years real hard, and then have shoulder issues and get and get injured, but you just don't want to do that. So, well, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, hope everybody comes and says what's up at Achieve Fitness. Um, this is probably our last video before the, the show. I'm definitely drained, but uh, looking forward to competing in a couple weeks. And thank you for your time, and uh, we hope to see you. Take care.